Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. We're all concerned about vulnerable people in our lives right now. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and I pray that all your loved ones are protected or made whole in the face of this coronavirus threat. One thing you don't need to be concerned about, though, the church. While some individual churches, local churches, are facing overwhelming challenges, the church as a whole will survive. And not only will it survive, it will grow stronger. Jesus said that he is building the church and not even the gates of Hades will overcome it. Churches in America and around the world are having to fulfill our mission of strengthening believers and reaching those who do not yet follow Jesus in some very new ways. I feel as though God is propelling us into an age in which we'll use digital tools to reach people like never before. And I think we have a good pattern that we can find in the book of Acts, where we see the church scattered, scattered by persecution. But there was a new way of connecting to the world that they hadn't really used up to that point. It wasn't the internet or technology like we know it, but Roman roads. They took the good news throughout the Roman Empire on Roman roads built for that purpose. I say built for that purpose, even though the Romans probably thought the roads were being built for their army or for commerce, but God had another plan. So the church didn't grow weaker at that time. Instead, it grew stronger by using that new technology, if you will, of their day. In our day, we're being scattered. We're not being scattered by persecution here in America so much as by a virus. But there is new technology, perhaps built for the purpose of spreading the good news, even though we didn't know it, for the purpose of spreading the message of Jesus throughout our land and the world, and we're being forced to use it right now. Technology like Zoom meetings, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. In fact, on Thursday night, we had a powerful Zoom prayer meeting for men. And we're not going to suddenly stop using these things, these tools, even when we once again are able to gather together. And I believe the end result is that we will be stronger. So whether you attend Victory Church or another church, Pray, pray that our local churches would come through this stronger and more effective in our mission than ever before. Pray for wisdom and resources to care for the flock and to reach those who have not yet come into the family of God. And when people are able to gather in public again, it's going to be important that the church actually be stronger than before because we will have an opportunity to share the good news with a society more interested in spiritual things than ever before in our lifetimes. So keep praying, keep giving as you're able to give, keep attending online, keep being the family of God, loving your brothers and sisters in Christ, reaching out to them and to the broader community as we can we could soon be seeing the greatest spiritual movement of our lifetimes. So let's make a declaration. I declare the church will grow stronger. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the head of the church. And in this season, you're continuing to build your church. The church is your bride. The church is your body. The church is your people. The church is what you're building. The church is more than a venue or a building or a social network. It's a spiritual family. And we need a sense of that family right now more than ever. So God, we ask you to continue to build your church. Give wisdom to your church leaders, creative solutions for unique obstacles, resources for mission and purpose and vision to continue. We know you're not hitting the pause button during this time, but rather this will be, this is a season of reaching, rallying, serving, and helping more people than ever before. I thank you, God, that because you have made your church strong, we are strong. Bless your people as we continue to be the church. In Jesus' name, amen. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort to you. During this trying time, 
Our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for our live stream services on Sundays at 9.15 and 11.15 a.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.